guys and welcome back to Ozstar Studios. In today's video we've got a few tips to show you on Google Home. I'm going to show you these tips and hopefully they're helpful. And if you want to see more tips series like this, let us know in the comment section or you can always email us at support at gbtnetgo today. So if you've got any questions at all or you want to see a certain tip video on an app or something like that, let us know in the comments or email us anyway for any sort of videos you'd like to see on the channel. Always you can do this on the comment section on any video. So let's get into today's video on the five top tips on Google Home. Let's talk about tip number one, which is one of my favorite tips. Basically, it makes you the boss and you can make your own commands. I'm gonna show you just how to do that and it's one of my favorite tips in the Google Home app. And basically, you can make up a um, rule and you can make it do all sorts of things. Let's get into it and show you what to do. So first of all, we wanna navigate and open that Google Home app. So basically we can just search and find it, which there it is right there. Okay. So as you see, one of the main things that you're going to notice is you're going to see a rules area right here. When you tap on that, you've got a few rules we've, we've already got here. As you see, we've got a few of them. But what we're going to do to make things even better, we're going to actually manage our rules. Now, basically the one I like to have more commands on is when I'm leaving home. That way you can definitely make sure things turn on or just say you want your whole house to turn off, that can be done as well. So as you see, hit leave, leaving home. Again, you can make your own command down here. So you can name it whatever and do whatever. So you could uh, basically make your own command and it can turn off. It can play music and so on. But what we're going to do, we're going to use an existing command, which is leaving home. And basically we can add all sorts of things. So as you see, we've got lights off right here. Also, we can... Um, so that one's ticked here. Now, note this will not work if you've got this down the bottom. Okay, so if you do move that down the bottom where it used to be, it will not work. Okay, so keep that in mind. So it was originally down here and it won't work. Again, you can go in here and uh, simply just type in what's the weather. Basically, we can add that command in and basically we will going to change the order. Okay, bear with me. Basically, then we can highlight it up to here. So now if we go back, hit the tick, and basically what the commands are going to do now when I say leaving home, it's going to, one, turn off the lights. Also, it's going to actually tell me the temperature and what the weather is. So let's go check if that all worked. So again, that command, that rule is leaving home. So let's give it a shot. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Leaving home. Okay. Currently in Dhirambandi it's 17 degrees and sunny. Today it will be sunny with a forecast high of 19 and a low of 3. Okay, let's try it again. The lights are... good day, Mr. President. Okay, that time the lights were off. So let's just shine up where the lights are. So they're up there. Hey Google, leaving home. Hi, Mr. President. Welcome home. Hey, Google. Leaving home. Sure. There you go. Right now in Dhirambandi, it's 17 degrees and sunny. So, Today, it'll be sunny with a forecast high of 19 and a low of 3. So that's the cameras off. Now Have let's go. Day, Mr. President. So that's the lights off. Now let's go to tip 2. I'm going to show you tip two, which is pretty cool. Now, basically, what this tip does, it's basically in accessibility settings. And basically, when you say, hey, Google, it never makes a noise. And we're going to show you just how to make it like a little beeping noise or something like that. And basically, that way you'll know it's actually listening to you and you can say your command. So let's get into it. So first of all, what you want to do is scroll down to your actual Google Home that you're wanting to make this work on. So again, I've got one here, but that's not the proper one. The proper one is the shipping container. From the shipping container, we want to hit the gear icon. From the gear icon, we want to scroll down to accessibility. From accessibility, you just want to hit these two on. Now, you can have an end sound or you can have a beginning sound. It's up to you what you want to do there, but I'd rather have them both on. That way I know when it's listening and when it has stopped listening. So basically, if we back out of all that, we'll just put it to... 70% and now when I ask it something you're gonna hear like a little noise. Hey Google There you go It makes that little noise. It's pretty good when I'm helping you out 
that's how you know it's listening and it's very helpful and I find it a heck of a lot helpful, especially when I'm in the other room and I don't know if it's listening or if it is listening. So when it makes that noise, I know 100% yes it's listening and then when it makes it when it's not listening, that way I know, yep, it's not listening so I have to ask it the command again. So now let's go to tip number three. show you a cool little command that you can do now you don't actually you do need your Google Home but you don't actually actually have to ask your Google Home you can just ask your Samsung tablet or your phone it's really up to you on what you do and basically what this command is and it's really helpful in my I really find it really helpful is you can ask it to play YouTube without actually asking your Google Home so for example if you got an Android device just click on the circle or square whatever it is and basically say oh it hurt me then Play YouTube on TV. Basically, YouTube's going to pop up on my TV. Right there, we got it all up. Now if I just say to the actual Google, Hey Google, stop. And now it gets out of it. Tip number four, how to watch Netflix on your Google Chromecast with Google Home. Let's show you just how to do it. Play Lost in Space on TV. So it's going to ask us to link. So basically, if you're on your tablet, all you have to do is click on link at the top here. Actually, that's disappeared, but it's right here. And we'll show you just how to link your Netflix up. And then when we ask that command to our Google Home, or our tablet, we can easily um, get Netflix up straight away with any issues at all. So first of all, you've got a few things that you can actually link here. You can link up your Netflix, your stand, and YouTube Kids. So we want to link up Netflix. We just want to hit link. Just wait for that to load on in. And basically, you just want to whack in your email and password of your Netflix account. Basically, it wants us to choose a profile. So basically, when we ask the command, it's going to play it only on this profile. So we just want to click on my name right here. Confirm. Okay. And we should be now all linked. Okay, we're now all linked. So if we back out. Okay. And to make things easier, we'll just show you it on the tablet. Again, it'll work the same if you ask your Google Home. So if we click on the mic and say, play Lost in Space on Netflix. So that's because I didn't say TV. So make sure you always set the keyword, which is TV. Play Lost in Space on TV. And there we go. And that's now going to start playing. There you go. Hey Google, stop. And there you go. Another one of my favorite tips, which comes in really handy if you love to have your TV hands free. Basically, without your remote, you can actually turn your TV off and your Chromecast off with one command. And basically, we'll show you just how to do it. Now, as you see, my TV's on and the Chromecast is on. So, for example, if you say to Google, hey Google, turn off my Chromecast. It actually will turn off the TV as well. So that's a really cool tip. It's one of my favorite tips overall, especially if you want to have everything hands-free. That's exactly how you do it. So that's everything in our top five tips today. If you found them helpful, not helpful, let us know down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, let us know as well. Thanks again for watching. Oz Star Studios.